Hi everyone, it's Daisy, and I've got for you a project for my preschool friends. This is a project on a circus train. There is so much that you can do. I highly recommend that you sit along with your toddler so that you draw your own picture and let them draw theirs. This makes for a perfect room and ambiance for the young ones to want to do and complete a project. It's in markers, shouldn't take too much. So let's get on with it and I hope you enjoy. Welcome back and our project for today is going to be for our preschoolers. It's called the circus train. So we're going to work on a basic train model and we're going to inject some animals into it. So as it becomes like a circle of trains that's traveling around the country. So the first step, when you are working with your young ones, you want to draw your picture and you want to let them draw next to you so that they can, you can work simultaneously and that way the child is encouraged to work. Step one, right here at the front, and they can put this anywhere on their paper, does not make it incorrect. It could be right there and you would just go along with it. But let's start. So come down to the corner here. I want you to start by making a straight line. This is your front engine. Touch the front, go up. Touch the back, go up. And now I want you to close it. So in essence, you made a box. And this is our main train engine. Now, the main train has also got a front. So I want you to take the bottom line and extend it out a bit more. And then touch the top corner and connect it up for the front of that engine that is at an angle. You want where the steam would come out. So go ahead to the front, top, two short lines up and I want you to close it with a straight line, but notice that the straight line is just a little bit longer, wider. Go on top of this and make a short line in the middle. So bigger line, shorter line. Remember to stop the video where you feel you want to work and then restart it again. So close it up. So this is your steam expel right there. Now let's give a chamber to our driver. So take your back line and let it go up a tad bit longer, right there. Come to the front of it, add a second line, which is as long as the first, and let it close. So this becomes our train engine, the first one. Leave this alone and I want you to go back and make another box. Here you go. One more box coming up. Remember how you did the first one? Yeah, so it's just as simple as that one and you're going to add another box leave this one alone go back and add another one remember in the engine only the front one takes a little extra work but the rest of them are just boxes that you can add and you can add two more you can add five more whatever you want so if i wanted to i could add one more but i'm going to stop this right now so now under this, the train wheels. You can't see the full circle because it kind of hides under the body. So you're going to create like a little bit of a round, one and two, like a curve line. And I want you to use your black and ink it in. Remember to pause that video when you want time to work on a certain part. So this gives you wheels. Now go ahead and add it. I have run this project with a whole lot of preschoolers in a whole lot of schools and I've got the most adorable little results and it is always so good to watch how the kids are able to engage with this project and really get the most out of creating this fantastical kind of a train that brings with it the circus. So this becomes engine tur tur. Train box one, train box two, engine. Now, to connect, it's as simple as adding a line between the two, add a line between the two. How about the animals? Coming out of the first box, the giraffe is a bit long, so the circus master made sure that the top of this box was open for the giraffe to stick his head out. So from the front, short line, and then I want you to create from the back another line but notice you will go up a little bit higher and you will bring back the neck so 
you want to finish on the same line but you got to make this longer now to make the head a circle just like this remember giraffes have ears and horns so you're going to make one horn two horns and then you also want to make your ears right and you also want to make one eye and you want to go to the neck and make these tiny little hairs that are standing on the back of his neck just like that please remember to pause when you feel you need more time to complete a step come back here is the lion cage so you're going to make for yourself the nose of your lion first which is a triangle put it in the middle right there bottom of the nose pull a little line and then add two lines that give you his mouth right there you're going to add some eyes on top of the nose and you're going to create a circle around all of these components and you're going to give an two ears remember ears on a lion are not like long like a rabbit so there's they're less in length and I believe they are rounder so you can create the lion's mane remember the lion is the king of the jungle and he has a mane that's the hair that circles all around his face and you don't need to draw anything more than that it's sort of like the lions looking out of the box trying to at least we've got all of this done our next step is going to be to create the hillside to create the hillside or the line where your train is traveling it has to travel on the railway tracks touch the bottom of the wheel to the next one and keep going to the next one now connect to the tip of the next one to the tip of this one to the tip of this one and let it just go off your paper and let it go off your paper this is your train track that the train is traveling on the hill is right next to it so i'm going to take a green and i'm going to draw me a line that's a little bit away from the track because remember when they have to create the tracks they have to put down all those logs so that there can be a place for them to put down the wood um slabs that the they have to attach that heavy metal track on so there's a lot of work uh, we watch movies nowadays that kind of relive us for us the process of making these train tracks all across the great country of america so this is my hill right here the train is traveling on it if i wanted to i can make a sun in the sky make a circle and let's make sure to add the sparkly lines it's a beautiful day and the animals i'm sure would love to get off the train and just go in for a walk wherever they might be but they have to get to the next town so that they can take care of performance now the area around this is done let's color in our animals so remember the lion is supposed to be sort of like a yellow so i can use a yellow right here for my giraffe the giraffe has got spots but essentially it is also a yellow kind of a main skin color so i would like to use remember to trace your lines before you start putting your colors in really important then i'm going to grab me some brown and i'm going to make some little like spots the spots on a giraffe's body are not perfect circles. So you don't have to try to make for perfect circles. You just need to create those sharp stop lines. Um, it's like small uh, geometric kind of shapes. So they have straighter sides, but they're not perfect squares either. So that's what you're looking for. Now to color, the boxes themselves is something you can change your colors around on. What do I mean? You can use any color that you like and you can change it up. So for example, this is my 
blue box holding my giraffe who is so friendly and he's so nice that he's not trying to move around too much. You know, sometimes the train has to pass under a tunnel and when it does that, it needs to make sure it doesn't, the animals put their heads inside, don't they? Well, I mean, they should do. Like I said, you can do different colors. I'm using the colors that feel good to me, but that doesn't mean that you have to also stick with those. You can change them up. You can do something different and every section of our train engine can be a different color. It makes for a more colorful picture in my opinion. The reason I'm not coloring into the lion's mane is because I think I might use some yellow or maybe some orange to give color into the mane. That would look nice, wouldn't it? It'd be a pity to not try to do something more for our king of the jungle. I can promise you he doesn't want to be in the circus, but he got caught. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now he, poor thing, he's in the circus. Wonder if you kiddos have seen that movie, Madagascar. That is so adorable. Okay, done. Now, try this one. I can use pink. Why can't I use pink? Maybe there is a pink train out there somewhere. Did you know the other day I was driving around and I saw a house. It was pure white on the outside, had a black roof, but did you know that the owner of the house had painted the windowsills purple? Ooh, that was so good. I really liked it. I thought that was so pretty. And it was a re really pretty shade of purple, so I loved it. Here we go. Now this is our circus train. Like I said, you can add more boxes. You can add more animals if you wanted to. But this is enough work for our little friends and this is a preschool project. So allow your preschoolers to work at their pace. Do not need to rush them. Remember to draw your own pictures alongside them if you want the most out of this project. Do not assume that they will just take it up just because you've turned on this particular video. I've worked with enough kids to know that companionship goes a long way in helping kids to kind of want to do things. When there are others involved in it, they enjoy themselves. And of course, you, the mother, father, grandparent, or maybe even an elder sibling will probably be the person of choice for them. So enjoy this project. See you in my next one.